today we've got the old mystery tackle box. Did a terrible job of getting that trailer on. I do. Oh no, he didn't have the hook. I got him that time. I got a fish on, boys. I do. And bring me that stick you got me. Oh, such a good boy bringing me a stick. Man's best friend here, boys. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing, and today we've got the old mystery tackle box. That's right, we're gonna be doing a little unboxing, taking it down to the pond, and I may even have a giveaway here. It's been a while since we've done this. I'm not even sure I remember, but let's get right into this box. This is the box for May. I'm not even gonna go off the card, we're just gonna go right into it. I've got some riot baits, it's like a little pumpkin uh, trailer, a little crawl trailer there. It got some Buddha Bait Company, almost like a cutter tail worm, and that's like in an Okeechobee color, kinda. No, not really. It's like a green pumpkin magic. It's got a little purple in it. A little cutter tail on it though. Like a uh, like a zoom cutter tail worm. Like those things a lot. So we've got the X zone. This is like the adrenaline bug. So I've been a black and blue. Cool thing about these, the little appendages float. So those things will work really, really well. So have a D and L jig, D and L tackle jig. That'll probably go really well with that pumpkin trailer. We can pair those up together. Also got some stickies offset worm hook. That'll go really good with that cutter worm as well as the X zone uh, adrenaline bug. We've also got a little walking bait. It's got the little like jitterbug mouth on it, plastic mouth, uh, hard plastic. And uh, yeah, we can walk that thing across the top of the water, see if we can't get a top water bite. Then we've got a little, what is this, a spinner shad. It's like a little spy bait. It's got one little, one little prop on the back little spy bait there. So, and this is an MTB exclusive as well, so you can pick these up on Shop Carl's. Most of these baits, all these baits, you can pick up on shopcarls.com. If, uh, if you don't have a subscription to the box, or if you have the box, you're just wondering where to get extras because you really like them, head on over to shopcarls.com. Use the link in my description, you can get there. Also, if you want to purchase your own Mystery Tackle Box, if you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it's a subscription-based service, and all they do is every month they send you a bunch of baits like this, some you've seen before, some you've never seen before. Every month I get something I've never seen before and I want to use. That's really the whole purpose is to expose you to brand new baits you may have never heard of before and give you a chance to use them, see if you like them or not. You can use my code, BFISHING, um, at checkout and get your first mystery tackle box for as little as ten dollars again the link will be below in the description head on over pick yourself up a mystery tackle box it's a great subscription service it's like getting christmas every single month so those are the baits i'm going to load up the kayak we're going to go to the pond we're going to see if we can't catch a fish on most of these baits i don't know that we're going to get hit on every one of them i've only got two hours today but we're going to give it the old college try let's go all right ladies and gentlemen so we made it we're out to the little pond my little neighborhood pond i've already rigged up most of the things like this is what the stickies hooks looks like i mean just a normal three aught offset worm hook all right so we're going to start off with this little cutter worm and probably the spy bait and we'll jump around i've also got the jig already tied on we'll see this cutter worm obviously when you get the tail go ahead and pop that off so it's going to make like a little flapping action um, I'm going to bite that down just a bit because the fish in here are a little bit smaller. Take off about that much. Not a whole lot, but you know, enough. I keep calling it the cutter worm. I forget what they actually call it, but that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of that little cutter tail on it. Super good at night. If you are night fishing, that is a good worm because as you pull it up, it actually flutters on the way up harder than it does on the way down. Um, so popping it really helps out a ton. got one yeah oh he had it he had it so here's what I'm looking at I had one come out of the grass and bite me and then that one I pitched into the grass and he bit me so what does that tell us kids they're in the grass yeah I got a fish I got him that time I got him that time. I let him get a hold of it that time. Phew. The Buddha Bates worm is done. Buddy, why are y'all so freaking hard to catch? Nice little thick. I mean, he's a little guy, but he's a thick one. Awesome. All right, buddy, I'm going to let you go. Whew. That bait is done. So this is, this is a little Riot Bates trailer. It's got a little flange on it. It's a nice little trailer. We're going to throw it on this. 
DL tackle jig. I mean, it's a nice little small, it's a smaller profile jig. Oh, I put a terrible, did a terrible job of getting that trailer on. That skirt's gonna help me out though. And hide a little bit of the imperfection, but it's just gonna stand that little hook up. We should be able to get some action on those little kickers. I like it. I mean, this is gonna be a twofer right here. I forgot this is the the reel that I need to spool with line. Look, I'm almost out of line. Y'all see that? Got all this new line. I haven't put any of it on. I never even checked to see what size jig this is. But I can definitely tell you it's way heavier than that worm. Oh. Something hit me on the on the fall. Oh he's got it. Or he had it. Something picked me up on the fall over there. Little pond fishing tip. So my pond is a little bit different because I've got grass literally surrounding like every side. But if you're fishing a pond, you don't have a lot of grass. You've just got a few, like, you know, like sticks, stuff like that in the water. Focus on your corners. Those fish are going to congregate in the corners because it provides them a little bit of shelter, number one. They can back up against it. Also, they can pin bait fish in those corners. So they're going to stay in corners a lot of the time. You'll find a lot of your ponds, if you think about it, some of the best fish you've caught in your ponds have probably been in the corners. I believe I got a fish on, boys. I do. Get out of there. He's in the grass. Get out of there. Get out of there. Bring me that stick you got me. Oh, such a good boy bringing me a stick. Man's best friend here, boys. A two for one. On the little DL jigs and the right baits. Little kind of chunk trailer, but it's a crawl trailer. You could, I mean, you could rig that up on some other things, but it's really just a trailer, let's be honest. It's a nice looking bass. They're thick in here. They're short. They're they're fat though, and they, they got they got some. They got a broad back on them to be so small. I'm gonna give him three quarters of a pound. If I were to build my punching setup, now would be the time. So I may do that real quick. No, I'm not, I'm not going stupid heavy on this thing. I'm not going like a half ounce punch weight. We don't need that. I honestly wish I could tell you what this punch weight was but I can't even tell you that I just know it's bigger than I normally use old Dumbo here me just rigged the bait upside down now it ain't gonna matter it's just the eyes are on this on this side as opposed to this side but honestly I don't think a fish is really going to give a crap We're getting in the evening time right now. So I'm thinking we might be able to get a little top water bite. Uh, maybe. We'll come back to this pitching game. Like I said, I, I just I don't have a good feeling about it. But this area looked so good that I had to try it. You know what I mean? I just had to try it. The big question is, is do we go with top water or do we go that spy bait? Like, had a reason to throw a spy bait? Like, it's just not something normally in my repertoire. Did I say that right? We're gonna give it a try. Oh, it's not a spy bait. It's a top water prop. It's just a top water little prop. Okay, so I've definitely never had experience fishing these. I mean, this is this is like the whopper plopper before the whopper plopper, except it doesn't whop and plop. It just sort of splashes. It's got that little back prop for some reason i mean spy baits usually have the double prop they have a prop in the front and a prop in the back i thought it was just a single prop spy bait let's regroup here because i've got two top waters left i got a punch rig and two top waters left that's gonna make things interesting got one on it got a little one come on hook stay on there Got him. All right, there you go. Hit the little topwater prop bait. Not a spy bait, as it turns out. Not a spy bait. Buddy, thank you for the little topwater bite. That was a lot of fun. Little guy. They're all cookie cutters. They're all the same size in here. Sheesh. All right, so I'm thinking if we're going to have success on that, we're probably going to have 
probably going to have success on the little the little walking bait that little jitterbug style bait so i think that is our next progression and i did bring mono for this that's normally what i would like fishing on these like walking style top water baits even a whopper plopper i'll throw mono on just because it floats and it's got a little bit of stretch you don't really want when you're using these treble hooks to have uh like braid um mainly because well braid doesn't give any so when those treble hooks start pulling and ripping up their mouth they can jump and get off the hook pretty easily all right let's use this little this is a strike pro bait and literally all you're going to do is slowly reel this thing in and it's going to walk that mouth on it is going to make it sort of shake its head so just a nice slow retrieve off of the water it's just through the water so just a nice steady slow retrieve on this guy if you want to you can give it a couple pops it'll splash a little bit but just that nice steady retrieve that's all you need got one i let him kind of take it a little a little minute yes got another one man they're they're liking the top water out here Oof. now you're dangerous because you got you got one this is how we all get hooks in us, bud. All right, another cookie cutter size bass right there. A little bit of blood, not very much blood. On the little jitterbug style bait, that was so quick. That was like three minutes since the last one. Top water's gonna be the way to go. Now granted, now all I've got left is the punch thing, so I got a punch, but hey, we did it. What I might do, guys, just as a strategy move, um, not not a good technical move but just as a strategic move just to cover water with it i may just use it fish the grass line and not punch with it but i cannot stress enough this bait was pretty much had punching on its mind when it was designed i mean it is a punch monster but you can fish it like a texas rig which is what we're about to do and do just as well i think i got a fish I do. Oh no, he didn't have the hook. Must have just been carrying around those appendages. I had one. I let him have it for a while too. I let him have it for a while. Oh, I got another one. Oh, same thing, same deal. This is gonna be just like the Buddha worm. I'm gonna get bit a lot on it and I can't get a hook in them. You know what, I'm gonna leave that hook, actually, not even skin hook it. Because that bait is kind of soft, the hook's already worn a little spot in it. So I'll need to adjust it if I go to pitch it. But if I'm fishing in open areas, like just on the edge of cover, I think I'm okay. That's two bites, same spot right there, man. I think one hit it on the on the fall. Just as I was about to reset my camera. Whew! You may be the littlest guy too. Out of all the ones I've caught today, the littlest one, and you took the biggest bait. I mean, on the freaking fall. That was like three or four straight casts with bites. The bait's good, guys. It really is good. It's just big. It's really meant for a punching rig. But I think that call of doing it at Texas rig and fishing along the grass line was the deal. I mean, that's that's what it's about right there. Whew. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Mystery Tackle Box Slam for May 2020 complete. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we completed the Mystery Tackle Box Slam in just under an hour and 30 minutes. Um, and I actually stayed a little after and caught, I think, three more on that Topwater Strike Pro Jitterbug style bait. And uh, man, I love that bait a lot. I really, really do just because I'm a lazy fisherman and I just really just want to retrieve it. I don't want to have to sit there and pop it, especially in a kayak. In a kayak, it's super hard to get that rod tip down and start popping that bait on a walking bait. And that thing makes it a lot easier. So for all you kayak anglers, 
uh, that's the way to go. Bank anglers, that's the way to go. If you're in the boat, sure, you can pop it all day. If you don't want to be tired, that's the way to go. And uh, I would not have discovered that if it wasn't for Mystery Tackle Box sending it to me in my box, which is the whole purpose of Mystery Tackle Box, is to expose you to baits you've never seen before, which is actually how the company got started. If you don't know anything about Mystery Tackle Box, the CEO, Ross, literally started fishing and didn't really have a whole lot of guidance. He didn't have any family that fished. He went to a local store and there was just aisles and aisles of fishing stuff and he was like a little bit lost and he thought to himself, it'd be really nice if instead of spending all this money on things I'm not even sure work, if I just got like a, a box sent to me every month with baits that are proven to work and or are brand new to the market and expose me to different things so I'm just not in here lost wandering around. Because if you do that in a store, you end up picking out a lot of the same stuff over and over and over again because you find, okay, that works, I'm just gonna keep buying that. You really need to broaden that horizon, try new things, because you may end up liking them. So again, if you are interested in purchasing a mystery tackle box for yourself, all you gotta do is hit the first link in the description. It'll take you to the Mystery Tackle Box website. Use the code BFishing at checkout and get your first box for as little as $10. Now, for all you that have been waiting on the giveaway, if you wanna win this particular box, this box that I fished with, some of the baits are used. We know one of the, uh, the jig's been used, well, every one of them's been used. I mean, heck, we caught fish on every one of them. If you wanna win that box, all you have to do is get in the comment section. Tell me which bait in the box was your favorite and why. Uh, also, you know what else you gotta do. You gotta join the Bee Fishing Fam. Go ahead, hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding dong notifications, because that's how I'm gonna notify you who won. I'm gonna put it in the very next video. It should be a Tuesday video. So this video will be coming out May 17th. That is a Sunday, and you've got till Tuesday to do those three things. Leave your comment, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and it'll be in the description of my Tuesday video on May 19th. Capiche? Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed the heck out of it. I love me some Mystery Tackle Box. I've been with them long before the sponsorships. I mean, just, it's a great company. You should really check them out if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next time. Later.